NBC Bay Area exclusive. A rash of break-ins has the attention of the U.S. Postal Inspector. Usually it's mailbox or front porch theft, but now thieves are smashing their way directly into the mail trucks. And you see the video right there. NBC Bay Area's Damien Trujillo is in San Jose's Santa Teresa neighborhood with the details. Well, it's happening all across the Bay Area in the middle of the day. And now the U.S. Postal Inspector might have quite a bit of evidence to go after at least one suspect. Surveillance video captures a man walking in front of homes next to the Santa Teresa golf course. Moments later, neighbors say he smashed the front window of the postal truck. I can see him jumping in and taking boxes and taking all the mail. The homeowner says her cameras caught the suspect in the act. She didn't want to show her face, but she tells us she turned the video over to the U.S. Postal Inspector. Well, we've seen vehicle break-ins in other parts of the Bay Area. We've seen them uh, in the East Bay. We've seen them on the Peninsula. Uh, we've had a number of vehicle break-ins uh, throughout the summer uh, in uh, the San Jose area. Jeff Fitch says you're seeing a federal crime that carries five years in prison, and the post office offers a $10,000 reward for anyone who identifies a suspect they ultimately convict. This is not surprising because... Uh, Burglars are doing this all the time because there's no punishment. The group Safer San Jose says it tracked the suspect's car as it was following the postal truck through its web of hundreds of cameras in the neighborhood. The group was even able to give investigators the license plate number. Like I said before, it's a neighborhood watch on steroids. This morning, we ran into the mailman as he made his rounds. He was still missing his side window. So no window? No window. Neighbors say the suspect was so brazen he broke in as people were out on walks. And while nearby golfers were working on their drives. Angry, unsafe. It's just not not right. I mean, yes, the situation is hard, but you don't need to do all these type of things. There's other things that you can do better in life. In the South Bay, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.